Hello guys, this is Sahil. Welcome to Cloud Doctor. In this video, we will go through the architecture and flow of our application and we will set up the basic prerequisites which we need to develop our application. So the basic prerequisites are Node.js, serverless, VS Code, AWS, creating a free tier account from scratch, after that creating an IAM user. So let's start with the architecture. So this is the architecture of our application. First of all, user needs to register or log into the application. So for that purpose, we have integrated AWS Cognito. After the successful authentication, user will be redirected to the UI or you can say home screen of the application. And from the UI, user can do the CRUD operations to the DynamoDB table directly. And in the other hand, we have Amazon SES. So after successful registration, user will be notified through a mail and after every successful CRUD operation also, user will be notified with the help of simple email service only. So now we will talk about serverless framework. So what we are doing, we are just creating a cloud permission template. And uh, inside that template, we have to write codes about API gateway, Lambda function, DynamoDB table and simple email service. So what will happen, every time we will click on our API, we will go through our API, it will trigger the exact same Lambda function which meant to be and that lambda function will be responsible for the exact same CRUD operation like if we will be triggering the lambda function to create the data then it will do the create operation only like that it will happen so after that we have authentication so for authentication as i already said we will be integrating aws cognito and it will be responsible for creating a user validating a user as well as user session management now to install Node.js, just google Node.js and click on the first link which will appear on your screen and just download the recommended version as shown. After that just follow the installation steps to install the software. Actually I am not following along because I have already downloaded and installed the software in my system. So after that you just need to open PowerShell and uh, to check like the software has been installed successfully or what you just need to write node space dash dash button. After that you have to press enter and as you can see this software has been installed into my system. Now we have to install serverless globally into our system. So just google npm serverless then click on the first link. So here you can see we need to write npm i serverless in order to install serverless but to install it globally we have to include dash g flag as well and after that you just need to check as same as you have checked while installing node.js whether it is installed properly or what like by writing serverless space dash dash version. Here you can see framework code version plugin and SDK version as shown on my screen. It means that serverless has been successfully installed into my system. So now we have to install VS Code. So just we need to Google VS Code. After that we need to click on the first link and here we need to download the software and follow the installation process to install the software. To create a new AWS account, just go to AWS and click on create a new account. And after that you need to follow the steps to create a new account like you need to provide email address and the username for your account so after that you need to verify your email address then you need to provide the billing information as well like credit card or debit card details rupees 2 will be deducted from your account for the verification purpose only so after successful creation of your account you just need to log into the console by providing the email id and password you just set as you can see on this screen our account has been created so we just need to go to the management console. So this is the home screen of the console. So now our task is to create an IAM user. So we have to go to the IAM console. Here we can see in the left side pane there are several options such as access management, access reports and inside access management we have user groups, users, roles, policies. So our task is to create an user. So we have to click on users. After that click on add user after that we need to provide the name of that user and we have to select aws credentials type we need to access programmatically so we need programmatic access keys after that we need to add permissions so here we need to attach existing policy attach administrator access policy then there will be option of tags so in our case we don't need to add any kind of tag so just click on next review then click on create user to create our user as you can see we can download the access keys in .csv format 
and access key ID or secret access key are visible on my screen. So we will be using these access keys in our serverless framework in order to develop our application. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we will configure the secret access keys for serverless framework and we will set up the boilerplate for serverless as well as React app. I request you to please like the video, share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be uploading videos frequently to complete this series and thank you. I'll see you next time.